Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. We have a full face of some new drugstore goodies that I'm really interested in seeing if they are good or not. I'm not like the biggest drugstore makeup fan. I've been traumatized a little bit by some bad drugstore makeup, but we're gonna try out some new stuff, see what's good, see what's not, and put them to the test. All right, let's get into this makeup. The first product I have is a new product here from CoverGirl. This is their Clean Fresh Skincare line. They have a color correcting serum, moisturizer, and primer. For sensitive skin, they have different colors of this, but of course, I had to get the green one having redness and feral of skin. It says that it's for fair skin tones specifically. It has some niacinamide, other interesting avocado and ceramides. It actually comes in this glass bottle with a pump, which is really nice feeling, especially for drugstore. And you're getting one ounce of product, so like a full-size foundation, basically. So I'm gonna start with one pump and just see how it works out. I wasn't sure how this texture was going to be because it says it's a serum, moisturizer, and primer. So it's a little bit thinner than I thought I guess. And the green seems to be like a little bit like it's a yellowy green versus a very cool green. I'm going to take another little bit of a half of a pump for my forehead. It feels more moisturizing than I was expecting as well. Like I mentioned, it claims to be so many things that I'm like, I don't know what to expect. This feels really moisturizing and hopefully you can see on my skin and my hands, it does give you like a lot of moisture and glow. On me, I wish it felt a little bit lighter. Like I feel like it might be a little heavy under certain foundations, but we will see. I will let this sink in a little bit. The tone I think is nice. I do wish it was more of like a true green and not like a yellowish green. That's just my preference, but I do feel like it helped to knock down the overall tone of my face being red and make it a little bit more neutralized. So we will see. I'm always into trying green products. The one, what is that brand? The No Problem one on Amazon that has tons of good reviews. I tried and loved but the fragrance I cannot get past. So it was really exciting to find something that was fragrance free like this one is. It says it's free of a bunch of skin potential irritants. So if you have sensitive skin, we'll see how this little guy works out. Looking up close, I think it also really helped to make my skin look smooth. I don't think this has silicone in it though. Okay, it does have silicone in it. So that gave us that really smoothing consistency. It does feel a little bit silicone-y on the skin like it gives you that coating. That sounds bad, but if you use like silicone based primers, you know what I'm saying. Next for foundations, I have two options here. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna try. First we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This is not new by any means, but they have changed the formula. I used to use this like in high school, had different packaging and they, I believe took the fragrance out of it, which is really nice, maybe not. It smells different than I remember, like it's less scented seeming. I got the shade 0A2 Cream. I remember really loving this, so that's an interesting one. I also have the Neutrogena CC Cream, which I've tried before and really liked. This shade's a little bit peachy for me, but this is a great like drugstore full coverage actually, even though it's a CC Cream. I feel like we have to try the Milani out though and see if I still like it. I really want to try to find some more drugstore foundations that I like to recommend to you, but it is really hard having sensitive skin and I have some like allergies to certain cosmetic ingredients and fragrance and like chemical sunscreens. So I was like, let me try this out, see if it irritates my skin. I do like how it comes with a pump and I think the shade's gonna be a really good match. I believe they also expanded the shade range. It just seems like a new light shade. I remember really liking this with a sponge, so that's how I'm going to apply it. If I remember correctly, this was like quite a thick formula, but really, really long lasting. Ooh, that's a nice shade. Nice, light, neutral. I think I usually, I got a shade, I don't know if this is described as neutral or cool, but Milani, I feel like, runs pretty orange, so I don't usually tend to get their warm shades. I will pick up something that claims to be neutral or cool. It just tends to match better. Like, their warm tones are more orange versus yellow. I feel like NYX is a brand that runs really yellow in terms of the warm tones. Milani's, she's orange most of the time. It's actually laid down quite nicely on the skin. It's a little bit glowier than I remember, but it might have been that really glowy, moisturizing CoverGirl primer that we put on. Yeah, it's nice. It feels maybe a little bit heavy. I'll have to continue to play around with this, but I would love to know if you remember your favorite foundation in high school. This was one of mine. This was like later in high school. I also loved the Revlon Colorstay. It's 
specifically the shade buff because as a fair olive it was like one of the only tones that matched me the covergirl true blend one was a pretty solid one for me for a while and then the one high-end one that i was obsessed with the original tarte amazonian clay foundation but i was a full coverage girl as you could tell with those picks I have this new Pixi under eye stick. I'm a little bit scared of the shade, but I love their original under eye corrector. So I was like, I should try this out. This is the CC Crayon in Bye Bye Under Eye, or just called Bye Under Eye. Correction Concentrate Pen. This is like straight up orange versus I use a peachy one. So I'm gonna start with just a very little bit, work it in with my finger and just see what we're working with here. Orange is opposite on the color wheel of blue. So if your under eyes tend to be more blue versus purple, this might be a good shade. I feel like mine are usually a bit more purple. That did a pretty good job though. I feel like it canceled those out. For concealer, I have the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Concealer. High coverage, hyaluronic acid, waterproof. I did try this when it first came out. It's not new by the way. I just wanted to retry this because I don't remember if I liked it or not. This is a really nice light shade, 001 Neutral Swan. I really like the doe foot. This does feel like a high-end concealer, like packaging and doe foot wise. Also gonna blend that out with my sponge. Feels really nice and light. I mean, I'm currently obsessed with the House of Labs concealer, but willing to give this another shot. I really like the shade. I mean, that blended out beautifully. Coverage is, I wouldn't say it's like ultra full coverage, more of like a medium buildable in my opinion, at least with a sponge, but that looks really good. I really like how this doesn't have a scent to it really at all. It does have fragrance in it, but I literally don't really smell anything. Might be allergic to one of these ingredients. It is really hard to be a makeup YouTuber and have such sensitive skin. It's like, I wanna try a lot of stuff, but not everything goes well with me. So I also decided to pick up, this is from Essence, Baby Got Bronze. I picked this up because the shade looked really green, which actually was like, I was like, that looks cool. If you have olive skin, you know. So these are just like their little contour bronzer sticks. I did not realize this was gonna have like a straight up bubblegum <laughs> fragrance. Oh no, it's like watermelon, like really artificial watermelon smelling, but really nice, cool shade. So I just wanna try this out in case you aren't sensitive to fragrance. And I'm gonna blend this out with a Luxie small contouring brush. I love this, it's just like a small version of a buffing brush. I feel like I can like taste the fragrance. Not fun. It's actually like way more sheer than I was expecting. I mean, that shade is definitely really nice if you have fair skin and you want something that's very cool toned. Yeah, it's funny it's called Baby Got Bronze, but for me, this is like a very true, cool contour. Yeah, that's pretty nice. The fact that it's sheer, I think will actually be very user-friendly for a lot of people. And I always feel like contours that are a little bit more sheer end up looking more natural anyway. Hopefully the sort of watermelon Jolly Rancher scent will not last on the face. I'm just gonna go back in with my sponge just to make sure everything is blended. Oh, I just posted this on my community tab, but I wanna do a video trying your makeup favorites. So you can also comment on this video as many favorites as you want to list, just comment them down below and I might pick them to be in a future video. So I want to try your makeup favorites, maybe something I would not pick out myself. If you really love them, I would love to know. So I will see you in the comments. Skin is looking pretty good. I'm not mad at this. I don't have any brand new drugstore powder. So I'm going to go in first with this NYX HD powder. I really love these. They also have a green tinted one. First, I'm going to make sure that this concealer is smoothed out because as we did the contour, it did just start to settle a little bit. The concealer does look nice and fresh, which I'm appreciating. And I'm just gonna set with this powder. I usually don't like a pressed powder for my under eyes, but this NYX one, HD powder, it's really thin. I feel like it just lays nicely. It's like a tried and true oldie but goodie product for me. The NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder is also such a good one. They make really great, like truly translucent products. If you have fair skin, check these out. I wanna use the tinted powder for the rest of my face. So I also pulled out this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder that I have. This is the shade 120 Fair. They also have a translucent uh, version. If I remember correctly, this is actually a really nice powder. 
I'll have to do like a full update review on the CoverGirl Clean Fresh line now that they have a lot of new products. I look really blanked out on camera, which I think is a good thing. I feel like the green CoverGirl primer like really neutralized my skin and helped to match my neck. My face is very red, but like I do have those olivey undertones in the rest of my body. Okay, feeling a little hot flash here. I think I wanna add a little bit of bronzer to this. So let's grab the Milani powder bronzer. Oh my gosh, forget how powdery this is. Just to lightly build this up. I got this because a lot of people say this is like a great fair bronzer from the drugstore. I think it's good. It is like really nice and light. It's just a little bit warm. But it is a bronzer, so you know, I guess I'll have to try more and see if it truly is the best. For blush, I pulled out the Elme blush, the Healthy Hue blush. These are gorgeous, like baked gel, similar to the RMS type of blush formula. And this is not brand new either, but I really wanted to use it. I swear that there's some other <laughs> brand new stuff here, but I'm just going to take that on a blush brush. If you're wondering about the best drugstore blushes and swatches, I made a video trying every single drugstore blush I could find. I will link it if you want to watch that. I put a ton of time into that video. There was like a leaderboard and everything. So yeah, it was intense. Isn't it so pretty? Not showing up on camera. Oh, there you get the glow. It's really buildable. The only con is they don't have a lot of shades of this. Uh, I do like this pink one, by the way. I'm gonna try to find the shade name. It like peeled off, I think, when I opened it, but I will have it linked. Alrighty, highlighter. I have a Catrice More Than Glow highlighter. I don't know what kind of highlights to try from the drugstore. If you have favorites, let me know. My problem is they're usually not light enough for my skin, so that's why I pulled out this one. It's a very light, frosty pink. It is super intense, but it is really pretty if you use a fan brush, just a small amount. Ooh, that Essence bronzer stick. It's looking really good. All right, for my brow pencil, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Express Brow. This is a really nice micro pencil in the shade. I think this is taupe. Really, really great blonde taupe shade that's not like too gray. It's also not warm. I feel like the shade is just one of my favorites from the drugstore. I used to always get the NYX micro brow, which I love, but the taupe shade was just like a little bit too gray for me. And this one's so similar, but a better shade. I also want to do some detailed brow hair. So I have the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. This one is the shade Taupe, which I feel like is a little bit warmer than their Taupe Pencil. But yeah, this is just like a brow pen to do a little bit of hair definition. My eyes are really watery. I don't know if it's the concealer or foundation, but like something on my face is not, not doing great. For brow gel here, I have the Pixi Brow Tamer. I have never tried this from them. Just the clear brow gel, which are my favorite. Very standard brush. Kind of boring, but if it holds, boring can be fun, you know? I've been wanting to try these forever and I finally picked one of the shades up. This is the Clean Color from CoverGirl. You get four shades in here. This is sort of a warmer shade called Dreamy Pink. It just looked really pretty and honestly reminded me of some Charlotte Tilbury palettes. They also have like really pretty like cooler mauves, which if I like this formula, I'll have to pick up. But I was like, let's change it up do a little bit of a warm look. So I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush. There's like two mattes in here, a shimmer, and then one that seems more glittery. I'm gonna start with this pink here. I did try these on a little bit and they were like, like this was really pigmented. It actually shocked me. Like I ended up putting too much on the first time I tried it. I'm just, I feel like with drugstore eyeshadows, I am like kind of traumatized by the amount of bad ones that I've tried. But I'm really excited to see if this one is good. And usually for like drugstore prices, like I'll just get a ColourPop palette, you know, they're always so dependable. Shade is a really pretty soft pink. These blend out like a dream. Very, very blendable, not patchy, perfectly pigmented. I'm gonna start to sweep that color outwards a little bit as well. Next, let's dip into this, which is like a warm brown. I'm gonna start to deepen the outer corner with that shade. I usually like to stamp the color on when I'm doing a darker outer corner and then blend it out just for a little bit more of a precise application. Just making sure like I get a similar amount of color on both eyes. I'm gonna go back into that blending brush and start to work that in. These blend so nicely. They are a really 
really beautiful formula. The mattes at least. We will see about those shimmers. I'm gonna do these same two shades on the lower lash line, starting with the pink, and then we'll move on to the darker shade. I feel like I wanna do a very, very smoky bottom lash line type of look. Now taking a smaller brush, I'm gonna go into that shade and just deepen the very outer corner of that lower lash line. Not even any fallout with these mattes either. I'm kind of in shock of how beautifully they performed on my lids. Let me swatch these shimmer shades. I just wanna see, ooh, that looks so pretty. Oh, that is so chunky. Interesting. So the first one we have here is the lighter one, which is like a smooth metallic. And then we have this like very flaky, like glittery shade, which honestly, when I put it like, it smoothed out, but it flaked a lot, like fallout type wise when I swatched it. So I don't know if I want to play with that one. I think I'm going to go for that lighter pink. I've been doing a lot of like glitterier looks lately. So I want to keep it simple. I'm going to use my finger to apply this one. It feels so nice and smooth. Ooh. That is so, so pretty. This is like my favorite kind of metallic. It is really, these are like so soft when you're touching them. So smooth and soft, but like very metallic-y without being glittery. I apply this with my fingers and there is no fallout that I see. This is gorgeous on the eyes. It almost is giving me that like wet look. It looks very, very dimensional, which I love. I'm gonna have to try more shades. These maybe, I don't know if all of them have this like chunkier glitterier shade maybe if some of them just have these smooth metallics with the mattes i would love but i also have these new pixie eye lift maxes which i've been really wanting to try so i think we're going to try out one of these let me swatch them see what we're working with we have this like lighter really frosty pink love this shade called chiffon and then this one seems more pink which is called sunset it's a really creamy feeling i think we're gonna go with that very bright pearl probably on in the inner corner. So just using that doe foot, see if we can swipe that on. Hmm, I don't know about that. Maybe it's because we have another eyeshadow on, but I feel like it just picked up my other eyeshadow and didn't really give me a ton of pigment. Maybe we should try it on the brow bone and then blend that out. Okay, that's really pretty on the brow bone. Maybe it is, I just already have shadow on the inner corner. It's a really creamy feeling, which I'm not used to with a like liquid shadow, usually they have that like quick dry down. Really pretty as a brow highlight for sure. I also picked up a new ColourPop cream gel liner because I love doing like a shimmery inner corner with a pencil liner so I don't get fallout and it lasts a long time versus doing a shadow. This is the shade Calabasas, which is a very light pearly pink. So I'm gonna do this on sort of like the inner corner so I did that in the very inner corner waterline and then matched it up to the smoky shade we have on the lower lash line. Now for some liner. I think just a simple black wing will be really pretty with this look. So I'm gonna use the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black. I'll do that, I'll be right back. I have a new mascara here from CoverGirl. I do really enjoy CoverGirl's mascaras, but currently the Maybelline Sky High is unbeaten in my book, but we will give it a shot. It's the Clean Topia Lash Blast. I got the shade brown because I love a brown mascara. I remember liking the like original Lash Blast and then the other one that comes in this color tube. This is like, it has a texture on it. I really like how it feels, that's fun. So yeah, let's see what this brush looks like. Oh, it's like a big hourglass shape. I don't know even how to describe it. It's definitely not like pointy plastic like the Maybelline one is. So let's see, it looks like it has a lot of product gooped on the middle. Hopefully that doesn't make it weird. Ooh, this is giving me a lot of separation, which I love. I'm not used to that. The Maybelline mascara like thickens your lashes a lot, but this brush, because it has a lot more bristles, it's really giving me that like fluffy look. I mean, this is pretty. I hope that it wears well though, because that's always like the downfall of mascaras. Ooh, so nice for the bottom lash line too. I said that it was gooped up on the middle, but that's not really like transferring as goopiness on my lashes. Right, let's do this other eye. All right, the effect of this, this is very built up, by the way. I like to build upon my mascara until it's as dramatic as I like. I think it's really pretty separating fluffy type of look. The brush does pick up quite a lot of product, but it doesn't necessarily like get everywhere. Like it was actually really easy to apply. Brush was great for the lower lash line as well. 
love the brown. It is a really, really pretty look. I wonder if it's gonna wear well, I hope so. For lips, I have the ColourPop Cool BFF Lip Liner, my favorite. I love that ColourPop is at Target now. And for lips, let's do one of these Flower Beauty. These are their newest formulas, the Perfect Pout Lipsticks, which are much more like slippery and moisturizing. This is the shade Blush Rose compared to their other formulas. But I mentioned this before, they feel very similar to the Victoria Beckham lipsticks. These are beautiful if you have dry lips and you like a really moisturizing lipstick. They just don't give you that like heaviness of a normal matte or satin formula and love the shade blushers. Let's see how everything is looking. The base looks pretty good. Foundation is like settling into my lines. It's just looking like a little bit like it's sitting on my skin. I don't know if that's the primer or the foundation. I will really have to investigate because this did feel a bit heavier and I'm not sure if it's like that combined with the foundation that's not working out. So that will require further experimentation. I can't stop looking at how pretty this CoverGirl eyeshadow is, especially that shade we put on the lid. This light shimmer, like it looks glossy almost. It is stunning. I cannot wait to try more of these. This shade is like a weird one. I wouldn't really want like a super glittery shade for like more everyday look, but I'm curious to see if like all the palettes have that or if they have a mix of formulas. So going over everything, this was really pretty. I like that it canceled out redness. Not sure if it's causing the heaviness of the foundation. Did feel like a bit heavier and more moisturizing. So if you have more oily skin, this might be a pass for you, but I will have to update you. The Milani foundation, nice like medium buildable coverage, looks pretty good. Love the shade match, which can be hard at the drugstore. Again, not sure if it's the primer or this. Something is looking a little bit heavy and like sort of sitting on top of my skin in not a good way. This concealer is already setting into my tiny little crease lines I have in my eyes. Probably not a favorite of mine. Maybe that's why I didn't remember if I liked it or not because I just didn't like it and put it away. So True Skin Concealer, not my favorite. The Pixi under eye stick was pretty good. I don't think I prefer over my original like peach pot corrector. That one's a bit more creamy and seemed to have more coverage. But if your under eyes are more blue, maybe this more orange shade could work a little bit better. The brow gel from Pixi, I do think this is really nice. It didn't like get crunchy at all. So we will see if that holds throughout the day. CoverGirl Clean Color Eyeshadows, obsessed with this. Need to order more shades because the mattes were beautiful, creamy, blendable. That metallic is like giving me this glossy eye that I'm honestly obsessed with. And I don't even love warm tones that much. So that's like saying something. The Pixi Eyeshadows, this, it didn't work like on my lid. It kind of picked up my shadow, but on the brow bone, I was like, Okay, like that looks really pretty and glowy and shimmery. Not sure if these are gonna be the best for the lids, but as I used it on the brow bone, I think it worked out pretty well. CoverGirl Clean Topia Mascara Brown One. Love, love, love how it looks. I will update you on the wear time. Maybe a new fave drugs for mascara. We'll have to see. Does not feel like irritating on my eyes or anything. So good, good, good to know. Oh, almost forgot this little Essence Baby Got Bronze. Bronzer stick, really affordable, love the shade. Can't stand the scent, that's kind of just a me thing. If you don't mind fragrance, you might even enjoy the fragrance, but I think the shade was perfect. It's only blush, always a goodie. Same goes with the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Press Powders along with the NYX Press Powder, good stuff. That was it for my full face of Drew Drugstore makeup. There will be two videos here if you wanna continue watching and hanging out. Pick one of those and I will see you there, bye.